How long did you work at Chance Vault? At Chance Vault? Mm hmm. I worked about three years, I guess. And I got laid off, by the way. I didn't go back then. I went to work for, well, it was a, it belonged to a Chase Vault across the street and fiberglass back in boats. Boats? Fiberglass boats. boats. Yeah. And uh, I was experiencing fabricator and they hired me and, and uh, show them how to make the boats, you know. Or, were these the small, out the small boats or were they like big boats? Were they just like, small, small flat bottom boats? What kind of boats? Yeah, it's just a boat like you use. Yeah. Family, like the family used it in the water lake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You did that for three years. Huh? You did that for three years. Back to three years. I mean, you you did that. You built the fiberglass boats for three years, and then they laid you off. Yeah. Where Where did you go after that? Yeah. Did you stay in California, or did you go back to Texas? Let's see, I... Uh, well... Now you got me there. I, <laughs> I don't remember whether I had went to California. Well, that was... That, was, that must have been in the right away or late 40s. Was, was Linda well, born? Had Linda I, I been? Think it, I think that uh, that I did. Yeah. Anyway, I went back to to uh, California. It was a few years after that. And, well, it was, it was quite a few years because uh, I had. Worked other places, you know, and so I went out there to Foothill Ranch and see what it was. This guy, the, he owned the ranch and he owned the stores on it and everything. And he would uh, let the guys live there mm -hmm. for special rates. And, was this that guy named Carl? Uh huh. Was he the guy named Carl? It, it, was this Carl, Carl you're talking about, or somebody else who owned the Foothill Ranch? Well, I went, I went out there, and, and uh, so I, I just went. At, they had, they have their own store over there on it, mm -hmm. and if they didn't have it. They get it for you, whatever you're looking for. They'd buy it and sell it to you. Yeah. In their store. Yeah. And uh, so I went out there and see if it was ruined just like it was. And this Carl, he was in charge of the horn and everything whenever I left there. And he said, You're looking for a job. And she, I said, no, you're not looking for a job. She said, you go to work if you want to. Hmm. And I said, no, I've got a job. I worked at the aircraft. I, I was working at the aircraft then. I don't know where it was. At Norco? It had to be in, in uh, Texas because, I don't know, it might have just been a story I was telling it. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, if you look every time you want a job, you look me up. Yeah. I said, okay, so I'll go to hell with you. And he said, well, you will hire you any time. And 
So I said, well, that sounds good to me. <laughs> but I said, I don't need no job now, I got one. And so, <laughs> <laughs> well, you, and, you, but the first time, he, he hardly this to the cattle we had the same name that I did. Yeah. Well, you started working for the. You started working for the schools back in Dallas. Ah, uh, did I? Yeah. About Which fifty. School? Uh, a school district. And and uh, Texas. Dallas, Dallas. Dallas School District. Yeah. Fifty. See, I worked at the uh, elementary school. Then. Yeah. Then I quit there, and then I I started to work for the steam fitter. And I worked for the Texas High School uh -huh. the steam fitter. Steam fitter. A yeah, steam fitter I, I know, that's steam working, fitter, working, yeah. working with the boiler. Hey, that's a, that's a high paying job. Yeah. That steam fitter. Yeah. I should have kept that job. I could have worked. <laughs> but I had a, a, I was in the army with a, with a guy, and we were friends, and so we kept it friends and. I didn't know he lived in Dallas, and he he worked for the steam fitters, and uh, so he he got that job there. I, I wouldn't have got the job there as a steam fitter if if, uh, if he he had to got it for me. Cause, but I got it for him. Uh, he got it for me. I mean, yeah, cause cause you didn't know how to do it. How, how did you know how to do it? Huh? How did you know how to work as a steam fitter? Well, I learned how. Yeah? I worked with the, this guy that was, uh, he was a steam fitter helper. Uh-huh. And he worked uh, under them, and he learned me to, I worked with him, and uh, he, he uh, learned me how. Yeah. And. I learned pretty fast then, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to making money. <laughs> and I left there, well I stayed in contact with this guy for a long time after I left there. We all called him Pee Wee. And he was a little bit smaller than me. Yeah. It's hard to believe, but I think he was a couple of inches shorter than I was. That made me feel pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> Pee wee. <laughs> and he, uh, then after. Well, I stayed in contact. I used to go back to Dallas for years, and I'd call him, and he'd come over and see me. Well, that's our. And uh, he, 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 then uh, he uh, goes up, and he he was in charge of the, all of the shop. He was in charge of it, and he finally he quit then, and he retired, and started retirement from him, and he he got his uh, retirement, and I I kept in contact with it for a long time after he got his uh, his uh, retirement, and he lived, lived right, he always. He always lived out in the country. So he he had a country house and he lived in it all the time. And so he, but he he uh, 
he was a boss of the whole thing. I said him one day and he was telling me he was he, he was the overall of now he top man. Top man. Yeah. <laughs> said if you ever come out to work why you just let me know. Yeah. And I said, I'll sure do it, but I I said I'm I'm in California now and I'll I'll work. I've been working uh, for them. Yeah. I, well, I, I didn't say food for, but but uh, anyway, he, but he he made uh, balls, then he retired from Meyer, and Joey retirement. He moved out, and the country he just he just works in the country. Stayed in the country. He lived in the country all Out, his life. Outside of Dallas, he he used to be. Uh, he ran around with gangs when he was, uh, lived here in, in Dallas. Yeah. And they uh, worked on freight trains. Yeah. Hobos. Keep, keeping the uh, bummer from getting on the plane. Oh. Keeping the hobos off the train. Uh, uh, hobo. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So. Oh man. Boy, he just. He just loved the fight. In the army. I've seen him fight so many. We'd be walking across to. Going to the PX or someplace like that while I was in the army, and uh, it was uh, together. Well, and you see a gang over here. He said, We're scooping this gang. They found a fight going on. Yeah. And he would. Yeah. He found a fight. And he'd jump and in he, there. I never seen him get whooped. <laughs> I never seen him get whooped. And he was smaller than I was. Yeah. And he fought them. Uh, well, they had the, in the army they had the ring, fighting ring, you mm -hmm. know, and boxing. And uh, Barry would get into there, and, and they they would get so many in there in a the ring, and so many in the in the watching them. Anyway. Put so many out there in the ring, uh -huh. and they they uh, they have uh, I believe they put six out there, and uh, one that whoop. He they, got the money. They, they get them, they knock them out until uh, till they see it was the last one in the yeah. ring. Yeah. And by golly, he, he was the last he got last the whole time. And, <laughs> and, and people would bet on him? Huh? People would put bets on him and he'd make money like that? Just right? Would he make money like yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? See, they, they pitch money outside the yeah. ring. And they pitch money in the ring. They get out there and box and everything. Yeah. The, the last one in the ring. We'll get to money. All right. So, <laughs> and sometimes they beat quite a bit of money in a, yeah. well, say quite a bit, they beat 20 or $30, and that was a lot of money then. That's quite a bit. So. You remember his last name? Do you remember his last name? Do you remember who? What his name was. His last name. You called him. The Pee -wee. man. His name. His name was Pee Wee what? What was his last name? The, his last name? Name, yeah. Wh who's uh, Pee Wee? Hawkins. Hawkins? Yeah. Okay, okay. C.C. Hawkins. C.C. Hawkins. C.C. Hawkins. He go out the way to. To gang, yeah, 
because he, he knew that Bill Fighter could pick one or something other. I'm telling you, he just he just was just crazy about fighting. <laughs> and I I was stationed with him and I was put with him. We was in the well, that was when I first went to the army, and we was in the. And together from then on, and we went through uh, basic training together. And he, and he would, he would, uh, if he seen uh, somebody getting over in boxing or something, he'd get in there, and God golly, he would, he would come out winning too. Yeah. When's yeah. the when's the last time you talked to him? Huh? How long has it been since you've talked to him? A How long, long time has it been since since you talked to him. Since you talked to him. Yeah. To him. Yeah. Oh God, it's been. Well, I hadn't I hadn't seen him. You might say since I've been in California. Oh, it's been thirty, forty years then. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I heard that he died after he retired. Oh, you did? He used to come out to that ridge to see me when I go down. Oh, yeah? Back in the... Back in the 60s? Back in the 60s when y'all would come down? You hungry? Getting there. Huh? I'm getting there. It's, it'll be supper time in another hour. 